Previously on All of Us, this is Jill. How you doing, Jill? Nice to meet you. I am a huge fan of the show and you and Dirk together. You're so much fun to watch. I mean, I never miss an episode. Remember how happy I was when your brother's baby was around? Uh, yeah. I decided I want one. So I'm going to get pregnant. I'm going to the sperm bank. A sperm bank? <laughs> sperm donors are anonymous for a reason. Yeah. I'm just going to go by, take a peek, and leave. Would you like to go out to dinner sometime? Yes. Jill, why are you doing this to me? Hutch, what are you doing here? Who is this? Her man. Are you really going to take this girl home to meet your mom? I might. Come to think about it, this kind of behavior runs in your family, Dirk. I mean, your mother's been married four times. You've been married four times. What you trying to do, break her record? <laughs> I just don't understand what would make a man want to hit somebody else on live TV. I, I mean, the advertisers are freaking out. I don't know what to tell them. Hey, look, just tell them Dirk is not a violent guy. I mean, the only other time I've seen him do something like that is when he punched a horse for biting him. <laughs> But then again, he did have a handful of sugar cubes, but for Dirk, it was about the principal. Principal? I would have thought it was about alcohol. Hey, hey. Hey, look what the wind blew in. What you doing here? Well, I was hoping to catch another episode of Minor Celebrity Boxing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, if you consider yourself a minor celebrity, I'd be glad to hit you. With the way you fell, you don't stand a chance with me. Anyway, I know it's your turn to stay at the condo, so I wanted to bring you the new set of security keys. Oh, thank you. Anyone want to check and see how you and Dirk are doing? You know, you need to patch things up with him, especially since it was your fault. My fault? You put his business on TV. What did you expect? I'd have punched you, too. Listen, I'm not even talking about the punch, all right? I'm a man. I can take a punch. What Dirk did was worse. He punched me with his words. I know, I know. He said that you are a know-it-all and our divorce is a joke. If somebody call the police, you've been violated. Look, he knows that he crossed the line. And I'm sure an apology is coming soon. We never stay mad at each other. Hey, Nisi. Hey, how you doing, Dirk? Glad you asked. Hmm. Never better. Got my best friend by my side. Jill. <laughs> Who I'm happy to say just got a restraining order against her ex. I love my job. My health is good. Although I had to see a doctor recently because I've been having some back pains. Oh. Turns out somebody's just been stabbing me in it. <laughs> yep. I can see how this is going to blow over soon. <laughs> Mom! My spiders got loose! <laughs> when did you get spiders? Long story. Get the raid! Hurry! Uh, come in, Courtney. Oh, hey, you're not the babysitter. Well, I could be, but then our date would be really awkward. <laughs> hey. Mom! They're surrounding me! Bring your road stompers! Uh, I'll be right there. What's going on? Apparently, my son took Charlotte's web a little too seriously. <laughs> oh, wait, hey. Wait, oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> uh, why don't you have a seat and uh, watch some TV? Okay. Okay. I'll be right back. Whoa. Okay, um, you're mighty comfortable. Oh. I'm Ben. I'm, uh, I'm waiting on Nisi. I'm trying to avoid the spiders. She's upstairs killing him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, if there's anybody that can stomp the life out of something, it's Nisi. <laughs> What's up, man? I'm Robert. I didn't know she had company. I just came by to watch the game with my son. Oh, uh, can I watch it with you until Nisi's ready? Oh, cool. Yeah. Hey. Right. A little company, you know? Yeah, baby. Mm. Head up. 
You look hungry. <laughs> my bad, my bad. You, you, you want one? No, I'm cool, I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Oh, good. I only bought a 17 piece. <laughs> <laughs> you on TV, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, yep. Get real with James and Black. That's it. That's mm -hmm. it. That's where I've seen you on that last episode. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you was talking about Dirk's mother, and he, he just. <laughs> Let's just watch the game. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, so that's cool. Let's do that. Let's absolutely do that. All right? Sign me up for the cigar club, the hair club, all the clubs. I'm good with that. But, man, um, yo, I'm sorry, Dirk. This is my man, um, um, Ben. Ben, we, you don't know him. We go way back. <sighs> he said he doesn't need to know him. The way you treat your friends, he won't be around long. It's like that, man? Huh? You're gonna talk through your child? You're not gonna be a man and apologize? I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that either. This is a simple recipe, but you gotta pay attention. Okay? You got your boiling water? Drop your egg in. Uh. <laughs> okay, what's next? That's it. That's how you boil an egg. <laughs> you knew that. I knew that. Uh -huh. I just like it when a beautiful woman tells me what to do. Ooh, well then. You are going to the concert with me tonight to see Prince. How'd you get huh? tickets? Well, They've been sold out for weeks. Made some calls, did some begging, hooked us up. Uh -huh. So you want to go? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna wear my purple pants. No, no, don't, don't do that, boo. I, I don't have purple pants. Yeah, I was talking about the dance. <laughs> hey, DC. Ben, what up, man? What's up? What's you want now? I mean, didn't we move into separate places so we can not have these chance meetings? Yes, I know, I know. I only came by to get my lucky hat for the tennis match. Yo, every time I wear this hat, Serena Williams wins, and... I can't let the sister down. Yeah, yeah, Serena's my girl. You know, she made me want to take up tennis just so I can wear those outfits. <laughs> oh, we should have gotten tickets. Hey, you know what, guys? I have a box if you want to go. Uh, what time's the match? Three o'clock. We have plans. Oh, oh, well, uh, you know, our plans aren't until later. I mean, we could do both. I can't. I, I got things to do with the restaurant. Oh, well. But uh, Hey, will you make up your mind? You're going to make me miss her stretching. <laughs> but I can't, but... Uh, if you want to go, just promise to be back on time. I promise. Okay. Well, you're lucky you're cute, too. Have fun. All right, thank you. And not you. I used to be cute. We're back. And an hour late. And I am so sorry about that, but the match went into tiebreakers. Well, why didn't you just call me? Ooh, I was going to call you, but the battery on my phone died when I was taking pictures with Serena. Hey, yo, yo, when he charges his battery on his phone, you got to see this one picture he has with Serena holding a racket, pretending to serve his head. <laughs> yeah, I can relate to that. Look, Missy, why don't I get home, okay. get showered up, and then we can go to the concert. Okay, great. Then you're going to do that, and I'll call Prince and tell him to wait on us. <laughs> and I would ask you, but your phone doesn't work. Good night, Ben. Damn, Nisi, don't you think you was a little hard on him? Not as hard as I'm going to be on you. Me? What did I do? It doesn't matter what you did because it's already been done. But it's not going to happen again. You know why? Because from now on, I want you to stay away from my guy. First of all, we are not in high school, and I'm not the head cheerleader trying to steal your man. Missy, <laughs> in second, it was just a mistake. Damn right it was a mistake. I never should have let him go with you in the first place. <sighs> it's hard enough having boundaries in a normal divorce, and with ours, it's even harder. All right, Nisi. If it makes you feel any better, you can be friends with my next girlfriend. <laughs> now, all I'm trying to say is I think you're putting a little bit too much on this. 
I know that we have to be in each other's lives, but we don't have to be in each other's business. You put yourself in my business when you took Ben to that tennis match. Yeah, but I invited you too. What makes you think I want to hang out with my ex-husband and my Ben? <laughs> well, I'm not a mind reader. Look, just because you can't make up with your only friend doesn't mean you should steal mine. Hey, I have plenty of friends. We're still friends, right, Snap, Crackle, and Pop? <laughs> Why you gotta be like that, Crackle? Thanks again, Uncle Dirk. You're crazy. No, you're crazy. No, you're crazy. <laughs> Peace. Hey, big fella. You just came from uh, hanging out with your Uncle Dirk? How was he? Your name didn't come up, Dad. Oh, okay. Oh, I got you something. We can go outside and play. I'll pitch. Nah, Uncle Dirk took me to the batting cage to saw him softball about. Oh, okay. Hey! So, what was all that honking? Uncle Dirk dropped me off. Oh, well, Uncle Dirk didn't want to come in? Uh, no. He didn't want day to see a dad day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, you really need to work on your pig, lad. You understood it. Well, I, okay, okay. Oh, um, I, I'll see you later, big fella. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. Did I cross some boundaries, or is Bobby one of those things that we can share? Okay, Robert. Do you want to talk about last night before I go back to the condo, or you want to stand there being passive aggressive? I am not being passive aggressive. You're always right, and I'm a better man for knowing you. I know I overreacted last night. I know you're going through a hard time with Dirk, and I should have been more sensitive. But seriously, if you go near Ben again, we're going to have a problem. I feel you, Nisi. It's cool. All right? All right. Why don't you just call Dirk? I already tried. Look, Nisi, there's only so much that I can do. Look, I appreciate your concern, but I'm okay, all right? A little bit of me time is always good every now and again. Hello? Hey, Dirk. No, we were just, we were just talking about you. <laughs> oh, hold on. Bobby! Telephone! <laughs> Show me Dirk. Yo. No, you're crazy. <laughs> uh, is this for me or are you seeing Serena later? <laughs> this is your VIP ticket to the most exclusive Prince concert of the year. How exclusive, you ask? Prince wasn't even invited. Hey, I'm listening. Well, look, last night I screwed up. I was thoughtless. And the last thing I want to do is disappoint you or make you miss Prince. Oh, I went. You cute, but you not missing Prince cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here's to you forgiving me. Wait. Damn. <laughs> Last night was not about me missing the concert. Not like that was gonna happen. <laughs> See, <I didn't... laughs> it was about you spending time with Robert. I guess it's weird having your boyfriend hang out with your ex. But I know what a big part of your life is. I just thought you wanted to skid along. Robert is more than my ex-husband. He's the father of my son, my business partner. I just want some part of my life that's just for me. That's fair. Yeah. I won't see him anymore. And he is going to be disappointed because we're supposed to go apple picking this weekend. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
house. <laughs> well, well, come on. What's this about you being my boyfriend again, huh? Ooh. Huh? That's what you said, right? I want to know more about that. Hey, Nisi, I got your message. What's up? Hey, um, uh, well, I don't know how to say this. I Damn. Want Bobby told you we were shooting fat kids with the softball machine. <laughs> what? Um, oh, I'm sorry. Why'd you call me? Because, um. Uh, because she wants us to talk. All right? Oh, so now you got her doing your dirty work for you. No, I don't have her doing my dirty work. She's trying to be a friend, which you know nothing about. I, stop it. And you two are acting like babies. You know you're boys, so stop pretending you're not. Hey, I'm not pretending. Dirk. Look, we both said some foul things, okay? Mm -hmm. Some of us with our words, others with actions. Mm -hmm. Like a punch to the head. I... Robert, just apologize. He doesn't need to apologize to me. He needs to apologize to Jill. She's right behind you. Hi, Robert. So are you excited about tonight's episode of Veronica Mars? I know I am, because I just love the drama. <laughs> um, Jill is... Mm, I'm Nisi. I think you'll agree with me that this has been going on long enough. Oh, if you are referring to Dirk being held down by Robert's dead weight, then yeah. <laughs> she must be doing tricks in bed. <laughs> uh, excuse us. Uh, look, I am sick of seeing you two like this. You're like brothers. You've been through too much to let one stupid thing come between you. Come on. Hey, hey. Y'all talk. What you said was messed up. I'll take that. You hitting me was messed up. I'll take that. Oh, Dirk. There you are. I have to talk to you. Not right now, Dennis. I'm in the middle of something. Oh. Oh, that, that's cool. Go ahead, finish. I'll fire you later. <laughs> what? Look. He's punching horses. He punched his partner. Nobody's safe. You told him about the handsome cab ride? I was provoked. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rob. This is my fault. The situation is plain and simple. You cannot hit your co-host on the air. That kind of behavior will not be tolerated. Now go clear out your desk. Dirk. No. He doesn't want to hear it. He does not need you, and he does not need this show. Everybody knows that you're the real star. You know what? You're right. You don't need this job. Damn right, I can get a new one. You don't even need this studio. What I need with this studio? Yeah. What are you, her parrot? <laughs> Dirk, can't you think for yourself? He can think for himself. Yeah, I can think for myself. No, Dirk, calm down, man. Look, I don't need you telling me what to do. I quit. Well, that's redundant. You've already been fired. <laughs> Say goodbye, Dirk, to the sinking ship and its shady captain. That's right. And if anybody wants to come along for the ride, you're more than welcome to come along for the ride. <laughs> anybody. Baby, I'll ride with you. So let's go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Get some bagels. We don't know the next check's coming. <laughs> 